we've been pointing out this, just some of what we saw yesterday at the state legislative office building. Thousands of people have been in Hartford over the course of the last, I don't know, week or so. So many heated opinions over this vote on the future of the religious exemption for vaccines. Yeah, there certainly was a lot of emotion there. Fox 61's Ali Warshawski joins us live from the Capitol this morning with a recap on that emotional night in the legislative office building. Ali, good morning. Keith, Ashley, good morning to you. As you just saw, there were hundreds of activists and parents inside the legislative office building when House Bill four, uh, excuse me, 5044 was passed through the Public Health Committee last night. It now heads to the House and two Democrats joining Republicans voting against the bill yesterday. The bill prohibits parents from citing religious beliefs in order for children to be exempt from required immunizations. And it was met with a lot of opposition. The bill now grandfathers in all children who currently receive religious exemption from vaccines. It would be new students entering the state's public and private schools that would be affected. Our job is to find that balance and that balance would require a way to do it so that we can protect the people who need to be protected. But we also need to make sure that while we're protecting the people, we don't end up having children lose their education. There was screaming and shouting at lawmakers as they left the legislative office building yesterday. 56 year old Rita Palmer was even arrested by police charged with disorderly conduct and interfering with the General Assembly. Again, this bill still needs to be passed through the House. Live in Hartford, Ali Warshawski, Fox 61 News.